Hello everyone, this is Hadar. Today we're going to be going over superheroing and remorting. If you read Help Superhero, it's a decent sized file, it's not too long. Uh, pretty much what it says is that superheroing is an act to be done at level 200 and it puts you up to level 201 and at level 201 you get a couple of extra skills and spells and they're always going to be static. They're like dual wield, enhanced damage, gate, hunt, locate animal, locate corpse, locate object, sanctuary, etc. And um, whenever you remort for the first time, you gain Mtalk, which is just an extra channel that you can talk on. There's three different versions of superheroing. There's the superhero loud, which takes 500,000 gold and 1,000 quest points. And that gives double for 10 minutes to everybody on the mud. You can superhero silent, which costs 500,000 gold and only 800 quest points. There is no double for the mud, you just advance to level 201. And superhero confirm. If you're a tier 0 single class, this is your first time playing around, then you would want to use this option. It costs you nothing and it's pretty much the same as a superhero silent. So it's just going to bump you up to level 201. So when you go to superhero, you're just going to go ahead and type superhero and the action you want to take. For this one, I'm going to show you superhero confirm. You type it in and as you notice, it gives you your level like you had just killed enough mobs to gain a level. It tells me here that I've gained 18 hit points, 17 mana, 17 moves, 9 practices, and 6 trains, and I even got an extra training session. You can see the spells and skills that I was talking about earlier, the ones that you automatically get at 200 and 1 regard uh, regardless of your class or race. Now I'm going to show you pretty quickly on how to actually remort. There's a couple of steps you want to take. If this is your very first remort, so if you type trains, you'll notice that I have uh, 462 training sessions currently available. That second line is something that is just on test port, so you won't see it on the uh, main port. And then the th other line, we have 462 training sessions available for instinct, is the line that I want to show you about. And with that, you can do an instinct deposit 462 and it's going to ask you if you want to confirm that you want to deposit 462 and uh, you would like to so you're just going to type instinct deposit 462 confirm this time and hit enter it tells you you have now deposited them if this is your first uh, remort you can rebuild at this point um, remove all and that will take all your equipment off and then you could do rebuild you have to do your password into your race at the same time um, it's just simple you would type rebuild password let's say I want to turn into a lizard man and then you'd hit enter so after you type rebuild your password and your race that you want to rebuild into it's going to pull up this dialog box what this box shows is that it's going to reset all of your stats and skills to zero and it's going to give you back all of your trains and practices it also shows you what your trains and practices would be if you had to pay for the 20 percent tax which in this case since it says here i have one free rebuild to use then that means all of my costs will be zero. So at this time I'm going to go ahead and rebuild password and race again to confirm my change. So afterwards it gives me this message. Using a free rebuild you have zero free rebuilds left and you now have 152 trains and 600. After you rebuild if you type trains again, it's going to show you on your line that you have train or you have trainings available for 
instinct again. If you type in the same command, instinct deposit, and then the number of trains you have, and hit enter, it's going to prompt you for the confirm again. You just go ahead and you type in confirm after and hit enter again, and you'll be done with the instinct deposit part. Now, what you're going to want to do next is figure out what the next best racer class would be. You can normally ask on your um, class channel, and they can normally direct you what to remort as. Once you've figured it out from recall, if you run to remort, it'll take you to the remorting chamber. And he will give you spells and stuff so you can see. And make sure you remove all your equipment before this. And you're going to go ahead and type remort. And into the next class that you want to remort into. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use warrior. I am now flagged as remorting. Only a couple of commands are available to me at this point. One of them is to our auction, which is putting quest equipment up onto the remort auction. So I put my bow up, and since I'm done, to continue to remort, you just type remort warrior again, and it completes your remort. At this point, you now have two classes. As you can see, I am now a paladin warrior. And you'll also have all of the skills from Warrior. You'll have anything from this list if you type All Spells Warriors that is not yellow with the little red asterisk next to it. The little red asterisk means that you cannot or you do not have access to this. And if it's yellow, it normally means it's because it's a subclass spell or skill. And you would have to be the class to be able to use them. That concludes this tutorial on how to superhero and how to remore. If you have any questions, you can always post them in the comment box or send me a tell or note on the game. I will always be happy to answer any questions you may have, and I'll see you next time.